All right, turned, about, uh, turned out to be another hot afternoon across the area with temperatures cranking up into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. And that's only the start of it because it looks like tomorrow is going to be warmer. Next week is when we're really going to be feeling that heat and humidity building across our area. So it's going to start feeling like a real Maryland summer here around our region. Let's get right to your forecast. Uh, things are looking dry this evening. Still watching the possibility that we could see a couple of stray showers popping up. The chances are not looking great, but uh, there is that possibility that we could see a couple popping up this evening. But really, overall, the big story over the next few days will be, of course, the heat for tomorrow and next week, but also a chance for some storms later tomorrow evening. It's not looking like the situation like we had last Wednesday, but there will be a few scattered strong storms for your Friday evening and early Friday night plans does look like though your Father's Day weekend shaping up to be absolutely fantastic. As temperatures across the state ranging anywhere from the upper 80s to lower 90s, Frederick Westminster is still the hot spots on the map at 91 degrees. We've got low to mid 80s over on the eastern shore, Easton at 84, Annapolis at 81, Elkton right now at 82. So again, clouds and sunshine throughout the afternoon and really expecting more of the same here for tomorrow. But we're tracking this cold front here. You can see it's already flaring up some storms across parts of Indiana and southern lower Michigan. And we expect more of these storms to kind of make their way to our region here for tomorrow. Therefore, the Storm Prediction Center has us on most of the state under a marginal risk. You can see the yellow right here. That's a level two slight risk. So there's a little better chance for more scattered severe storms in this particular area. That would include Frederick, Westminster, Tawnytown up towards areas in northern Baltimore County. That's where we could see gusty winds, heavy downpours, maybe a little bit of hail. I think the better chance for that will be in western Maryland, where the uh, freezing temperatures in the atmosphere will be a little bit lower to support perhaps maybe a couple of storms dropping some hailstones. But future cast shows mainly dry for this evening. Then tomorrow we'll have a mixture of cloud and sunshine. We'll start to see a few scattered storms developing during the afternoon and evening. And right now the timing looks to be early to mid-afternoon through tomorrow evening and early tomorrow night. And then that should move out. The weekend right now looks fabulous with a mixture of cloud and sunshine across the area. Again, that tornado threat tomorrow is pretty much next to nil. It's really going to be wind damage and heavy rainfall with some of these storms here for tomorrow. Again, Father's Day weekend looks great. Highs in the mid-80s with plenty of sunshine and lower humidity. Then high pressure begins building across the area into next week. That's what this big red circle is, and that is going to be a very strong high. That means very hot temperatures expected. These are the actual temperatures, mid to upper 90s, but heat index values will likely be exceeding 100 degrees, particularly towards the end of the week, and that is also going to include perhaps AFRAM next weekend. Right now, the forecast for AFRAM looks very hot, so we're going to see a continuation of that in the next weekend. First alert, seven-day forecast, 92 tomorrow. Late storm chance. Father's Day weekend looks great with sunny skies, highs in the mid-80s, low humidity, and then the heat builds heading into next week. We'll keep you updated. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, Derek.